Hey you guys, Andrea here. Welcome to my cluttery kitchen behind me. But I have stuff all over the counter because I am making a low carb pumpkin bread. Basically, it is a low carb version of a pumpkin roll that's really popular this time of the year around the holidays. Um, you know what I'm talking about, that yummy pumpkin spice roll with the cheesecake frosting running through it. Yes, that's one of my favorite desserts. So when I found this recipe a couple years ago, I was really excited because it came out tasting really good. It's not exactly like the pumpkin roll, but it is definitely a delicious alternative um, that made us happy. It reminds me of a coffee cake texture and quality. Um, so, you know, I don't want you to try and make this recipe going into it thinking you are going to get a pumpkin roll texture but I do think it's really worthwhile I wouldn't be putting it up here if I didn't stand by it and think it was a really good recipe it's a recipe that I actually got from the Keto Connect website um, if you don't know Keto Connect is a channel on YouTube and they also have a website and cookbooks and all kinds of stuff I will link the recipe down below all right so that is basically it I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's get started on this yummy delicious low carb dessert okay so for the first part of the recipe we're gonna get started on the cheesecake layer and just to let you know I do have the oven preheated to 325 and this is an 8 ounce block of cream cheese that I've brought to room temperature or if you need, if you need to you can cheat and pop it in the microwave for I don't know 15 seconds or so and then we need a quarter cup of sour cream and I would stick to using like a whole milk sour cream you don't want to use a light sour cream for this and one large egg and a quarter cup of erythritol sugar and that is this sugar right here I get this from Amazon. I will link it down below. It's really delicious. Um, I like it a lot better than Splenda for baking. And then we need about 10 drops of liquid stevia. This is also one. I just get it from Amazon, but they have this in your regular stores too, you know, a variety of different brands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we are just going to mix that up, whisk that up, whatever you want to do. And this is going to be kind of liquidy. That's what you want. Okay, and I'm just going to leave this alone for a little bit and then I'll come back to it and mix it up a little more when I'm actually ready to use it. So, the next thing we are going to do is work on the, the cake batter of it essentially. And for that, we want to get the wet ingredients together first. So we have a cup of pureed pumpkin and it's the 100% pumpkin. You don't want anything added to it. And then we need, we have a half a cup of erythritol sugar again. And here I have two thirds a cup of melted butter. And one teaspoon of vanilla. 
Um, we also need an egg for this. And we also need more of the stevia drops. So this part calls for 20 drops. And I think that does it for the wet ingredients. So I'm just going to whisk this part together. And then we want to add the dry ingredients, which is going to be three quarter cup of almond flour. You can use whatever brand you want. A third a cup of coconut flour. So baking powder, we need a half a teaspoon of that. Pumpkin spice, we need one teaspoon of that. And we also need a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And just to let you know, this is a truly, this is a true keto recipe. It is low carb, but this is definitely um, a keto recipe. Okay, and that is it for the dry ingredients, so I'm just going to get that all mixed together. It smells so good already. It smells like Thanksgiving. And this too, you know, this isn't going to be like a wet cake batter, so don't freak out. This is what it should look like. And then give it a really good stir here. All right, so now that that is all done, the recipe says to reserve one cup of this batter. So let me, I'll just use my third of a cup measuring scoop since I have it handy. And we will call that about a cup reserve. And now we need to get, I have um, a baking pan, a nine by five inch loaf pan that I have sprayed. And now we just want to put this mixture right in there. And you wanna try and just press it down the best you can to get an even layer on the bottom. Okay. And then once you have all of that on the bottom, we are going to come back to our cheesecake filling. And it will firm up while it's baking. That egg in there is going to help it to do that. All right. And then we are just going to pour the cheesecake mixture right into there. And again, just kind of smooth it out to get it even.
And now we're going to come back with our reserved pumpkin that we have here. And we want to just kind of drop it around the top here and carefully just kind of spread it. You don't have to completely cover the cheesecake part. Don't worry about that. Okay, and that's really it, you guys. So now this is going to go into a 325 degree oven for approximately 70 to 80 minutes. And then um, you just want to look for it to have set. You don't want it to be jiggly like that. You want the cheesecake part to start looking like it's kind of drying out. And so I'm going to put this in here and I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. And as you can see, it's set. It's not jiggly or watery at all. Um, it does recommend that you let this cool for an hour and a half. So don't do what I'm about to do. I am going to slice out a piece so Matt and I can try it for you and let you see what it looks like when you cut it. All right, you guys, so this is what it looks like when it's cut out of there. And again, if you let it cool off really well, it will slice a lot easier. But we couldn't wait. We had to try it with you. And this is my great niece, Annabeth, and she really wanted to try it with us. So, all right, you guys ready? Ready. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Good? Mm hmm Tell them what you think. Good. <laughs> yeah, it is so good, you guys. I promise you, if you make this, I really think that you will like it. If you do try this recipe out, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye.